Residents in one West London street call for a trial of e-bikes in the area to be scrapped after hire cycles are abandoned in dangerous places. They put it in the middle of the road very close to the junction um, and obviously it was planned so that a car would come around the corner and hit it because these bikes are dockless, they can be pretty much dumped anywhere. We'll hear from one hire company about their safety measures here in the capital, also this evening. I've spent the afternoon by Teddington Lock finding out about water safety on the Thames. Plus, we chat to the lesbian couple claiming victory in their legal fight for IVF equality for gay couples. And... Are you all ready to pull a hoop? Here we go! We meet the inspiring couple sharing their love of keeping fit with a younger generation. A 13-week campaign by Just Stop Oil protesters has cost the Met Police more than £7.7 .7 million, the force has revealed. Police made 270 arrests over the demonstrations. The force described the action as crime, but the group says it will continue. And Wimbledon has apologised to a disabled tennis fan who had to use a service lift to get to his accessible seats on Court 1 during this year's tournament. Bob Cousins says he and his wife spent 45 minutes asking for directions from multiple members of staff before being told to enter through a lift used to take out rubbish. The All England Lawn Tennis Club said the seats should not have required a lift to access and it was disappointing they didn't receive clear direction. Please tell them not to jump in because it's so dangerous. That's the call to parents this summer from a family of a 14-year-old who drowned in the Thames last year. It happened on Tags Island in Richmond and an inquest into Brian Sassu's death heard there were no clear warning signs or safety equipment where he jumped in.